Hey, what's up, man? People, crazy hot boy E here. And today I got a rebuild for you in a franchise mode. I'm getting tired of mud, and plus I'm moving to NCAA football. So we're just going to go ahead and get into this rebuild. And I got the Arizona Cardinals here with Travis Hunter and Caleb Williams. Uh, what we're going to be doing, I'm going to be showing you guys here 98, 97, 97. Caleb is a 95. Terry Mariah is a 92. Got some other cards here. I'm just going to be doing Arizona, Chicago Bears uh, because those are my two favorite teams. And then when NCAA football comes out, I'm going to be doing Colorado, probably Ohio State, Michigan, and um, Florida, if not other people. But um, here we go. Here we was, we was about to get into a game right here. Um, we got the Super Bowl coming up. So I made it in the second year, 2025. I made it all the way to the Super Bowl. I actually played every single game, and I'm showing this in the second year to rebuild because the first year to rebuild, I'm sure a lot of guys already did that for you guys, so there's no point in me doing that, going over a whole rebuild again. I'm sure some of you have already rebuilt. If you haven't played CFM or Connected Franchise Mode, um, yeah, I just started at the Super Bowl of 2025. But you can see Caleb Williams here. A whole bunch of XP, a whole bunch of awards, absolutely balling out. Marquise Brown here, he stayed on the car. He resigned with us, got him up to a 90 overall. Um, so that's pretty good playmaker. And then we got him at 84. And then, um, yeah, let's see here. We have Jack Sawyer. So Jack Sawyer. He is in the 2024 draft class, if I'm not mistaken. I know that is a real player. Jack Sawyer is a real player. Um, we picked him up at N. And he's absolutely amazing. We also picked up Xavier Leggett. He's a real player as well, too, uh, from the class of 2024. So, yeah, he's a 79 overall. He doesn't get much playing time for us, but he's still good. We also have here Shadur Sanders. This is the, out of the 2025 draft class. We got him as a backup just in case Caleb Williams goes down. We need a backup quarterback. Shadur is going to be that for us. Um, now that was the Pro Bowl week. Now we're going to go ahead and advance until the Super Bowl week. You can see here, I uh, unlocked some achievement. I got Rookie of the Year right here. I also got the MVP. Caleb Williams won MVP. And Travis Hunter, uh, one defensive rookie of the year. So that's pretty lit. And you can see here, Chiefs a 91 overall, 88 defense, or 88 offense, 85 defense, 91. Um, and then we have Caleb Williams here as the MVP. Patrick Mahomes finished in second place. Jalen Hurts was in third place. Lamar Jackson was in fourth place. And then if we come over here to NF NFC, you'll see here, Caleb Williams got Offensive Player of the Year. Uh, our Harrison Bryant and our Taylor, Tyler McBride also got Close Up Offensive Player of the Year. Uh, defensive Player of the Year, Travis Hunter was number four. Defensive Offensive Rookie of the Year, J.J. McCarty was number one. And Defensive Rookie of the Year, Travis Hunter was number one. And then Caleb Williams was the best cornerback. Best running back was Saquon Barkley. We had nobody in there for running back. Best wide receiver, we had tight ends, now wide receivers killing it. And then best defensive back was Travis Hunter, who was absolutely lit. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I got some stuff to do with some Super Bowl media day. I have some upgrade players to do. I got some managed staff to do. I got staff points. Uh, so let's go ahead and check out who we can upgrade. Uh, we can upgrade Caleb Williams and Travis Hunter here. So both are really 91 overalls, but Caleb is playing at a 96 overall. And we get four skill points for him. So that's going to boost him up to a 99 overall. We choose Phil General right here. And then that gets him to the 99 right there, plus one throw deep. And then we also have strong arm right here. So this is just boosting the stats. His morale is already boosted six points. If you wonder why he's a 91, 99 overall, when he's really 93. Um, and then we add a strong arm upgrade as well, too, to get him to a 94 overall. Now, if you look at the ratings here, you see here 99, 97, 98, 97, 94, 
98. Absolutely beastly stats. All right, moving on. Let's go ahead and go to Travis Hunter. All right, so Travis Hunter here, he got three points. We upgraded all his points. You can see here 99 man coverage. Absolute beast. And I did forget to tell you guys, we actually went 17 and 0, and we're undefeated in the playoffs as well, too. So we're trying to get here a national championship, a national championship, a Super Bowl championship with an undefeated record. So that's why. Uh, you can see that 17 and 0 and made it to the playoffs, and we're in the Natty. Not the Natty, I keep saying Natty, the Super Bowl. Uh, so here we go Caleb Williams, Patrick Mahomes, Marquise Brown. Look at that. Uh, who's that? Uh, Rasheed Rice. Absolutely lit. Time to get a W. All right, so we're in the Atlanta Falcons Stadium. They're going crazy. All right, so we start off here. The score is 0-0. Zero to zero. We're going to go ahead and hit it with the play action screen. And we get it to our 83 right there. I believe that's Dorch. Um, he gets in. They come back. They march right back down the field on us. They do a halfback toss to Pacheco. Pacheco goes ahead and gets in the end zone to make it 7-7. Seven, seven. And then we get an interception with Travis Hunter. But they come right back down to score with McCall Harmon. And now it is 21-14 in the fourth quarter. We just go ahead and run the same halfback, uh, the, the wide receiver screen. But we actually give it to the running back that time on the option. And now it's 28-14, and it's only a minute and 55 seconds left. They don't have much time. Patrick Mahomes drop back to find Kelsey. Over the middle, who absolutely ate us up all game. Kelsey probably had like 150 receiving yards. You're going to see here he gets little on us again. This time hits Kelsey over the right side. Boom. For another first down. And Patrick Mahomes lines up. He's checking the field. He got three wide receivers out there and the tight end. And he goes ahead, throws to Kelsey one more time. And Kelsey gets all the way down to the five yard line on us. And now 28-14, but only 47 seconds left. So they're having a tough time scoring real fast. We jump up right there with Travis Hunter, but we missed the interception, and they get it. Now they go ahead and kick the field goal. We know they're going to go onside, so all we want to do is recover the onside kick. They go ahead and make it 28-21 to right there. We come out, select our play. We're going to go base onside. And we get off the people. Uh, we let the computer go ahead and take care of it. And boom, they go ahead and catch the ball and get down. Now it's only three timeouts left that they have. And it's only 42 seconds that we have the ball. So we're going to go stretch. It's halfback screen. Our wide receiver screen, what we call it, the bubble screen. And this time we give it to the halfback, Jalen Warren. He goes ahead and rushes for a first down. We got it again. Run pass option. We're just looking here to see if the pass is open. It is open at time. We go ahead and take it with OBJ to the third and three. Now it's 33 seconds left. Not that much time. They only got one timeout left. We go ahead and run the ball. We get the first down. Boom. That is game. 28 seconds left. They have no more timeouts. We go ahead and go to a knee formation. Caleb Williams and his second year, his first year, not a rookie year, first year, second year. He comes out, wins in, in a Super Bowl, goes undefeated 20 and 0, 17 and 0, 18 and 0, whatever it is, 19, 20 and 0. Absolutely beast. All right, so no more need, no need for another nil. We just get into information. Come out here. Boom. There it is. All right, so we win. We celebrate. Shout out to Byron Murphy for coming back to the Arizona Cardinals. Shout out to Kayla from coming over from USC. Shout out to Travis.
from coming over from Colorado. We had Shiloh on the on the team as well too. We had him at free safety. Uh, shout out to Shadur for being the backup. Shout out to Patrick Mahomes. We stopped his dynasty. He was going for what three or four in a row, and we come out and get the trophy. I don't know who this black dude is right here, but shout out to the black dude here offering us the trophy. Celebration uh, through the city. We're gonna go ahead and and, uh, and enjoy it and get back to it next year. That goes Caleb Williams with his little mini afro. <laughs> Throwing the, throwing the trophy up in the air. Super happy about the Super Bowl. We get the W. So now we get back to our screen. And we should get a message, an award. There it is. Win the Super Bowl in the online league. Bragging rights. Uh, technically, if we were playing against other people, we would have bragging rights. But we're not playing against other people. So we're just bragging to the computer. And there it is, NFL Playoff 2025. Arizona Cardinals beat the Kansas City Chiefs 28-21. to We beat the Eagles 35-21. We beat the Cowboys 31-20. Now, the Cowboys was a rough matchup. I thought we was going to lose that game. But we was only up 28-20. to They missed a field goal at the end. Um, but, yeah, we got a late field goal to clutch it out. But, yeah, that was definitely a hard fall game. And now if we come over here, manage staff, manage team. I'm going to show you the roster again. Uh, that was games. Who the hell is that? I don't even know who that is. Uh, let's go ahead and go to uh, contract extended. So we got a five-year contract deal worth $4 million. We're going to go ahead and acknowledge that. All right. And... Now we're going to go ahead and jump ahead to next week. Well, let's look at staff moves first. And I'm going to do nothing with our coordinators. A whole bunch of other teams fire the coordinators. I don't think there's anyone we want to pick up except Deion Sanders, but he's still a scout right now. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the roster. Caleb Williams is a 99 overall. Travis Hunter is a 98 overall. Booter Baker is a 95 overall. Jalen Thompson, 91. Jalen Warren, 89. BJ Bellari, Shiloh Sanders, 79 overall. Absolute beast of a squad. All right, now going over to advanced week. Let's go ahead and get to this next week here. Um, so I don't, I know it's franchise mode. But I don't do any of the re-signing players. I don't do any of the free agents. I barely do drafts. So if you guys watch my rebuild, it's going to be more of me actually playing the game rather than me um, doing free agents or free agents and signing people in cap room and all that stuff. All that technical stuff isn't for me. I do like the recruiting aspect of it. So if you get me to recruit and get players like that out of, out of high school and college, I love doing that. But as far as doing it for the NFL, that's just something that's not fun for me. And we'll go ahead and look at this. Uh, let's go to Cardinals. There's nobody retiring for us. So that's pretty good. All the other teams have a lot of people retiring. We have nobody retiring so far. I believe Buda Baker is the oldest person at 31 years old. Um, but he should be around for a little bit more. Right here we have Caleb Williams and Travis Hunter. They have another upgrade coming up. So we go ahead, add Scrambler to Caleb Williams and give him some nice stats for scrambling. Arm strength 95. And then we're gonna, gonna go ahead and go to Travis Hunter. And we're gonna put man defense on him, man to man. And actually, we put, do we put slot on him? No, we put man to man on him. Let's put man to man on him. Boom, 94 overall. 98 overall with the morale boosted. Superstar X Factor. Big dev trait. Uh, BJ Bilar El Jolari is good. All these other guys are good. These guys are trash. Zayvon Collins is good. Uh, we'll go ahead and boom. Put elusive back on Jalen Warren. 
83 overall. BJ Bull Ojalari, we want to keep two. Zayvon Collins, we're going to go ahead and put power rusher on him. Take him to 83 overall, 87 overall. And then I think that's it. We're just going to automatically upgrade everybody else. So, yeah, offseason, when it comes to re-signing, free agency, I just put that on do it auto. Of course, they won't give me the best people, but it is what it is. And then for the mock draft here, uh, this one, we have Arch Manning right here. So, I think this is the 2026 class, if I'm not mistaken, 2026. Uh, these are real recruits. We have Dante Moore, DJ Hicks, Nico Amaliva, uh, Zachamara Branch. We're all the way down at number 32, uh, TJ Capers. I'm sure these are all real names that I'm saying right now. Pierce Berlin. I did see they wanted us to grab Pierce Berlin. He plays for Georgia. And it's actually, you know what's messed up? The dude actually just had a heart condition. And he's not even going to be playing football anymore. So that was sad to see about Pierce Sperling. All right, we're going to go ahead and jump ahead to the next week. And um, we're going to let the computer do our re-signing. We're going to let the computer do our free agents and not worry about that. And then we're going to do some scouting. And we're also going to go ahead and draft some players. All right, so here we are at the draft. We have the 32nd pick. We want to go ahead and just see if the Saints do select Arch Manning because that will be fun to play against him. He should be a high overall considering he is a Manning. And I, I guess the dude, the KFW dude or the the Knowledge Fire or the Night, Night Fire guy that makes the draft class, I'm assuming that he made him good. We're going to go ahead and simulate to the next user pick. And um, let's go ahead to make our selection. So there's a couple people that we can choose from. You got this Carnell Tate, Jeffrey Presley, John Cook. Uh, Carnell Tate has some okay notes about him. Not a top fit for us. Only a 4.5 or 4.5, 40 time and only 14 reps. But he's still supposed to be around one. Around two. Then we look at his other wide receiver, Jonte Cook. He runs a four or five as well, too. He does do 15 reps. But if you look at this D tackle, uh, Jeffrey Presley, it actually says he's a fit for us. And he's supposed to be selected around one or round two. So I think that's who we're going to go with. We're going to look at some more, see if there's some other spots down here. There's a cornerback down there that's a little bit farther. And, guys, we did trade uh, to, for Byron Murphy. We traded away one of our picks to trade up and get uh, Travis Hunter. We had to trade away another pick. So we don't have a second-round pick or a third-round pick. Uh, we're pretty much screwed on that, but we got the team that we want, so we're happy about that. And he has a hidden dev trait. Uh, so hopefully we can unlock that and make it a good one, make him develop fast. Hopefully he turns out to be a beast. And we're going to go ahead and skip ahead to the next user pick. And you're going to see here, it's going to go through the second round, go through the third round. We have no pick right here. And we come all the way back to the fourth round to make a selection. Um, so a couple good choices here. We got a second and third round, second and third round. We have a left outside linebacker, a cornerback. And then we have a bunch of our receivers who might be a fit as well. Two guys, I don't even know how to do scouting. I'm sure scouting should have said like 85 or 100% on that. And I don't even know how to do scouting. I don't know how to work the rebuild. I'm doing this because I want to play NCAA football and do the uh, dynasty mode. And I might as well start practicing for that right now. All right, so there we have it. We drafted our squads. Um, we're in 84 overall offense, 84 defense, 84 overall. Here's who we got. We got the Jeffrey Pesley. We got the Charles Jagusa, Casey Banyard. Uh, we got Will Armour, and we got Emmanuel Henderson. Uh, the J J Jagusa is a 72 overall, it's fourth round, left tackle. And Jeffrey Presley is a 71 overall, first round, 32nd pick. 
So, Jagusa got screwed up going in the fourth round, but it is what it is. He gets the lower contract, but we're happy to have Jeffrey. So, now, um, I was looking for free agents here to see which free agents are available, but I don't even know. I think when you don't have free agents turned on, they don't even show you free agents. So, now we're just going to look at the Rocket roster, see what people have gone up to. You can see a Caleb Williams still 99 overall. Shadur Sanders a 74 overall. This K Blubnik is a 74 overall, trying to be better than Shadur Sanders. Uh, but that's not going to happen. Jalen Warren is our running back. He's 86 overall. We got some other backup pieces right there. Frank Gore Jr. is our fullback. Marquise Brown is our wide receiver. And then Greg Dordich and Xavier Leggett. Our tight ends, absolutely beastie. Uh, Terry, Trey McBride is a tight end. We're going to go ahead and pick up a free agent uh, tight end in the in the rest of the, in the preseason because I can't do it in the offseason. And then we have some other positions here, right tackle, left end, 72. We need a left end as well, too. Jack Sawyer is 89 overall. That's our good right end. Uh, D tackles. It looks like Jeffrey Presley is going to be starting for us. Uh, left outside linebacker Beecher Ojolari, Beast Mode. Kaiser right is actually pretty good in coverage. Zavin Collins is good at rushing. Uh, Travis Hunter, 98 overall. I do kind of want Sauce. If I had a, a D backs of Sauce, Travis Hunter, and Byron Murphy, that would make me super, super happy. But I don't know how I'm going to get. Sauce Gardner, let's not trade Caleb Williams for Sauce Gardner and then make sure Drew Sanders our quarterback and leave him at number one. You know, one quarterback and just develop him. Um, I could possibly do that, um, but I don't know if I'll do that or not. All right, so moving along, um, we're going to go ahead and go to advanced week. All right, so advanced is the next week. We have. Uh, play preseason. It didn't give me an option this time for the to set the recruits. I don't know why. I don't. Know, I don't know if it glitched or whatever. But it didn't give me an option this time to set the recruits. Here we have tight ends. We see Noah Gray. We see Adam Talman. But we're gonna go ahead and go with John U. Smith. And this was a good pickup for us. Uh, John U. Smith. He just got a card in the Ultimate Team. Um, so I knew this was a good card. So that's why I went ahead and signed him. Even though he's only a 72 overall, he can still make plays, still catch the ball. Still pretty good. And then we need a left end as well, too. Uh, so we took, who do we take here? Katsuka, Kamiski. All these wanted too much. Uh, so we're going to look at here, cornerback. No, nothing there. Let's go top 100. Just kickers and punters. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get out of that. We're just going to make it work with our left end. And we're going to put Zayvon Collins right there because, uh, yeah, it's too too much for for to to buy that. All right, so now we can do training camp. Uh, but we're not going to do any drills here. We're just going to go ahead and move right along. Uh, we got a, our preseason game. We're going to go ahead and do the train start training right there. And instead of doing a training camp, we're going to go ahead, boom. I learned this in the second, my second year. I was like, oh, if I simulate the training, it's better than just simulating the week because they actually get better stats and actually perform better once you simulate that training right there. So if you don't know how to do that, uh, you should be doing that. Or if you're new to a connected franchise, man, like me. I didn't know I could do that. You go into training, you go click the right stick all the way over. Once you get all the way over, hit start training. You don't have to do the drills. And it'll go ahead and train your offense and train your defense. All right, so now we came back. Now we're in week one. We went ahead, got all of the training screen. We're going to go ahead and simulate this first week. Uh, we're going to play this season as well. So we're going to play a couple games in this season. Um, and we're going to go ahead and simulate half of the season as well, too. Mon Money Parks. Uh, that's the first. That's a cool first name, Money Parks. 
I'm going to go ahead and just upgrade him automatically. I don't know if that's better or worse to upgrade automatically, but it doesn't really come out bad for me, so it is what it is. Uh, for so far, first game, Caleb Williams only had 193 passing yards and 84.2 passer rating. When I played with him the whole season last year, he definitely stayed above a 150 passer rating. I always had 400 yards. So you can see here the morale is down. His overall is down. Russian uh, Jalen Warren is not even on the screen for some reason. Dylan Johnson played, and he didn't do absolutely nothing. Uh, receiving. Marquise Brown had four catches. Xavier had three catches. Let's check out Travis Hunters, see what he did. Um, let's go interceptions. Nobody had interceptions. So let's go ahead and scroll down. Travis Hunter had two tackles, two assisted tackles for four tackles, and that's all. All right, so now let's go ahead and we have key to victory. But we're going to go ahead and go to the next week. We're going to actually sim to midseason and see how it does. All right, so we simulated midseason and we're a four and three record. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the team schedule. So we lost to the Falcons first. We beat the Seahawks. We beat the Giants. We lost, we got murdered by the Dolphins. We beat the Rams. We beat the Raiders. And we lost to the Broncos, uh, which is pretty bad. So we have the Seahawks coming up again. We already beat them once. Um, so we should be able to beat them again. I don't know. I haven't simulated. I simulated the first season. Um, but I haven't simulated since then, so I don't know if we can beat them or not. It should be good. Uh, so let's go ahead, go back over to, oh, wrong button. Accidentally logged out. Let me go ahead and log back in. Come on, EA Sports, put me back in. All right, franchise, there we go. Click on it. Boom. Crazy hot boy E. All right, so week eight, midseason, um, we have a new ability unlock. We have Scott College players. I think we're going to go to the new ability unlock. Oh, actually, let's go to scouting first. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I thought that would be something different. Definitely don't want to do that. Could care less about the scouting. Um, let's see here. We can check the mock draft, though. All right, so I'm just playing around. All right, there we go. New ability unlocked. All right, there we go. So let's see here. So he has strip specialist here, but now Travis Hunter has everything unlocked. So he has one step ahead. Shade, deep out, deep route, check out, inside zone, pick artist. Uh, deep route KO, knocks out 20 yards, short route, persistent pick artist. I'm going to put pick artist on him and leave him with the shutdown. All right, so let's go now. Uh, let's see here. We're four and three. We're taking on a one and six Seattle. We're going to go ahead and go to the next week, see if we can get the dab. And we lost. So we lost to Seattle 24 to 21. That was a pretty bad loss. And now our coach is going to go ahead and talk. Last game was another long list of stall games from Caleb Williams. Yeah, I'm sure Caleb is playing all right, but the team is losing with 4-4. Four four, so I don't want to lose again. Um, So we're going to go ahead. I mean, we got to play Kansas City. I already played Kansas City once in this video. Not going to play them twice in this video as upgrade the other player. Um, we're going to go ahead and simulate Kansas City, simulate the bye week, and then we're going to go ahead and um, play the week 11 Minnesota Vikings. I did make my goals this year. One goal was I got to make the playoffs. Let's see what Buddha's talking about. He says, bad enough we didn't win. But what you said during the week has already come back to hunt us. All right, so morale just went down even further. Guys are upset. Uh, it is what it is. We'll go ahead and advance a week. And let's go ahead and go to we play. 
All right, so we got a couple upgrades. Jack Sawyer is a good one. We got Minnesota right here. They're 85 overall. They actually only lost one game, and we've lost five games. Um, so we definitely got to win this to get into the playoffs. So right here, we kick a field goal to go up 31-21. I simulated most of the game. I'm um, just playing moments right now. So the moment kind of came down to that moment. I had to get a first down. Once I got the first down, we kicked the field goal. We won the game. Boom, we're good to go. All right, so coming back to the screen here, we have our staff goals. We did not hit our rushing touchdowns. Our season goal, make the playoffs, is still alive. Uh, staff goal, 250 offense, we hit. Zach Frazier got upgrade, but we don't care about him because he's a 60 overall. And now we have the L.A. Rams, the Dallas Cowboys coming up in the next two weeks. Uh, we just made Minnesota 9-2. So that's pretty good. We're going to go ahead and go to the next week. So the L.A. Rams are 4-6. and six. Uh, I believe they have J.J. McCarthy, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so they're a pretty good team. And then we have San Francisco. All right, so we simulated those games. And now we have San Francisco. And we got to win this game to get into the playoffs because we're 9-7. and seven, and The next team is 8-8-8. Eight and eight and eight. So if we lose and the next team wins, they'll go to the playoffs. We might not get in the playoffs. We might not get the wild card. So we're going to go ahead and play this game. We're not going to show the whole game. Um, I'll start showing more of the games probably in the next video. Um, we're just going to go ahead and play this one, though, and see what happens, see if we can get the W. All right, so there we go, Cardinals, baby. Stadium. Let's go. All right. So starting off here at zero zero, we get the ball first. I'm gonna go ahead and simulate a little bit until we can get into position. All right. Now we come out. All right. So we got the ball on the twenty five yard line here. We're gonna go ahead and drop back. Make a pass to the tight end. McBride catches it. Boom, one for one for 26 yards. Nice. We could go stretch bubble, but we're going to go back to our Bengals flood. We do play with the Cincinnati Bengals playbook. Just because I only run three plays, I run the bubble screen, I run the option, and I run a tight end flood. That time we missed the tight end, even though he was wide open. Chasing and act like he did something. We actually didn't do anything. Uh, just because we missed it, we're going to go ahead and go right back to it. This is one of our favorite plays. We also have a play out of tight end offset, but I mean, this works just as good. Boom. Um, it's like I've seen some people that just run stick or they just run whatever plays they run. I just, you got to get two or three plays. Once you get to two or three plays, just run them over and over again until you win. And that's what makes it fun to play defense. And this time we go ahead and go to Jalen Warren and he gets down to the three yard line or the two yard line. And now we're going to come back. You know what we're going to do. We're going to do our stretch alert bubble. And if the computer doesn't go for the right receivers, we're going to go ahead and take it with the halfback. Boom, we go ahead. We have an open lane with the halfback. And they stop us at the one-yard line. So we try to hurry up here, uh, but the hurry up doesn't work. So we just come back out in the stretch bubble. And we're going to go ahead. Boom, this time throw it to X. Marquise Brown is wide open. Go ahead, get six for the touchdown. All right, now we're going to go ahead and zip ahead. And right here, we're up 28 to 16. And we always play with Travis Hunter. And he throws the ball over the middle, and the ball gets tipped. And we pick it off. So that was a good interception for Travis Hunter. We got the touchdown with Caleb Williams. We got the interception with Travis Hunter. That was a user pick. Uh, so that's pretty dope. Boom. Absolutely, right over the middle, into our hands. Brandon Ayu just gets smothered, smashed, and drops the ball. We get the interception. So there we go ahead and win the game. Now we're 10 and 7. Minnesota's 11 and 6. So Minnesota's going to get into the playoffs too. Um, but we also get into the playoffs. And then we won 
uh, first round game, and now we're at our second round game. Um, so you can see here, we beat Green Bay Packers. I actually simulated the Green Bay Packers game. Now we have the New York Giants here. We're going to see if we can beat the New York Giants. And then if we beat the New York Giants, we have to play either Texans or the Kansas City Chiefs. All right, so start the fireworks. We're home again because we're the lowest seed and the Giants are the worst seed. They're obviously worse than us. Um, but they have a little bit. They got Saquon Barkley, who got Offensive Player of the Year for the running backs. Um, they have the quarterback. I don't remember who the quarterback. I think it's, is it Drake. Mays? No, it's Jaden Daniels, the quarterback. So we come out here. We're going to go ahead and open up with a sim. And we're going to go ahead and jump ahead until it's 7-0 us. And we got the ball back here. We're going to go ahead to our Bengals flood. We launch it up to Tyler uh, McBride to Tyler McBride, and he goes ahead, Trey McBride, and catches it for the touchdown. Now it's twenty eight to twenty. We got our stretch bubble alert. The running back is open there, but we take it to is that Leggett? We take it to Leggett, Xavier Leggett, and we get the touchdown. So now we're up thirty five twenty, and it's not looking like real competition. Let's see if anything else happens. They march down 27-35. We come back down. Um, we're, we're moving the ball very well. And we go ahead and score a field goal. So that's going to go ahead and end the game. We go ahead and beat the New York Giants. All right, and Brian Debo or Brian Dabbitt, whatever his name is, he looks pissed off. But we're happy. We're headed to our second Super Bowl in three years of starting this franchise. Now, guys, be on the lookout. I'm going to have more gameplay coming. More games coming. More games recorded uh, when I play uh, the rest of the season. I do like playing with the cornerback, Travis Hunter. I also like playing with Caleb Williams. Um, so here we go. So we got the Pro Bowl week. We're going to go ahead and simulate that. Um, Let's go ahead. We'll save our, our reports, our, our, our recruiting, not our recruiting, our training training staff points. We'll go ahead and save that for later. And, um, yeah, so Houston versus Arizona. Houston has C.J. Stroud. They also have Chris Jones. They're 13-4. We're 10-7. Uh, so, on paper, they're the better team. They have 87 offense, 87 defense. And the 88 overall, we have an 87 defense, 85 offense, and 85 overall. So they're going to head and ask us, um, do you have, you're not strangers to this tomorrow because you won one Super Bowl already. I go ahead and answer them honestly. I didn't want to talk shit this game because I talked shit for the Seahawks game, and that turned around to bite me in the ass. So me today complete an extra 10 staff points, and that's what it's called, staff points. Guys, forgive me. I'm new to this. I'm new. I play Ultimate Team. I do coin making methods, but I'm not used to CFM. But it's kind of cool. Uh, the quarterback here, Caleb Williams, 99 overall. We're already at the highest grade on the strong arm, highest grade on improviser. 98 on field general. We just went to the highest grade on field general. So the only thing we have enough to max out is scrambler. Um, so that's good. 98, 99, 99, 99, 98, 96, 94, 81, play action. We don't run play action. I mean, we do run a play action, but we run a bubble alert. 90, um, break sack. All right, so let's go ahead. Uh, let's, let's get speed here, too. 89 speed as well, too. So he can throw the ball, and he's fast. He's not Lamar Jackson fast, but he can move around. And get the job done. We also have Travis Hunter here, 96 man, 95 slot, 90 zone. So I never play zone with Travis Hunter uh, just because zone is stupid. On this, I mean, it's not stupid, but it doesn't really work for me on this game. When you're playing with a computer, uh, I play man to man and then have my two safeties in the zone behind me just in case if I get beat deep. They always start to cover for me. And if I get beat up front, uh, I just choose the wrong. I I choose the wrong route to run, and then I I play the route the wrong way, 
And I just get beat that way, but I don't get beat deep. All right, so the Zone Hawk pick artist is one step ahead. All good to go. Now I'm in the Super Bowl. It's 21-21. So we're going to come back here and run our play. And we thought about it, but we get hit. And boom, it's out of bounds. So now it's third and 10. End of the second quarter, only 13 seconds left. Uh, let's see if we can go ahead and get this in here one more time. So we ran it before. They was on it this time. We're going to see if we can run it again and get past him. If we do get past him, he's wide open. Boom, John New, the, the free agent signing for the touchdown. We're good to go. All right, so we go ahead and keep the field goal. Now it's 20-21. Now they come out in the second half. and watch this. He throws the ball, but Byron Murphy is right there for the interception, boys. Byron Murphy gets the pick. We come back down. We have it over the middle. We have John Yu over the middle. And we hit him to make it 35 to 21 after the interception. Boom. The boys are happy. We're celebrating. Shout out to John Yu. So there's 35 21. Now we just go ahead and sim it. Uh, we got to jump back in for defense. They get a little, they had a little momentum going. So we want to try to stop that momentum. And now here they go. Uh, boom, they throw it over the middle. That absolute Dalton Schultz and Nico Collins absolutely crushed me this this whole series, the whole playing the Texans. Um, they're pretty they're two pretty good receivers and tight end. All right, but here we go. 35-21. We're trying to stop them again. They go ahead and throw to the halfback. We get a flag. We get actually a legal touching, which is absolutely crazy. Illegal contact. How did we get illegal contact? I don't even know how we got illegal contact, but we got illegal contact. Uh, now they're first and 10. They're marching down the field on us. We got Travis Hunter, and we're waiting on it. We're sitting on it. He throws the ball out of bounds, nothing there. All right, so let's go ahead and send the rest. All right, so we go ahead, jump ahead. We're up 14 points. We stopped the momentum. And we go down, nothing, nothing, nothing. We're moving third and one, first and ten, second and thirteen. Ten yard recession by recession by Trey McBride. Second and eight, first and ten, second and four, third and one, fourth and six. We hit the field goal, go up seventeen. We have three scores with two minutes left. They score a touchdown, but we score again as well too. They come back down. We just nail the ball out. Game time. We win. All right. So that's the first episode. That's the first. First rebuild I have. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good one. We'll talk to you later, Mike.